If you guys need anything MLB, hit us up. We got some crazy good deals right now. 100k XP, $25. Fallis BR is actually $30 off as well. Just mention you came from today's video. If you guys need anything, MLBs, hit us up. Many season packs, monthly awards, all that. Hit me up on Twitter, Insta, or email. And I'll get someone from my team to get on your account as soon as possible. Alright boys, welcome back to the channel man, it is your boy Mava, we got another roster update, it's been a minute since we've done one of these, it's been all star break, uh, I've been really busy streaming and stuff like that. As always you guys know we have the best picks on YouTube when it comes to roster update, as always I got a list filled, two full pages of good picks, did my intensive research. Also if you guys need any grinding, if you guys need flawless BR, if you guys need stubs, XP, whatever it is, hit us up. On Twitter, Instagram, or email us, either three. If you guys mention that you guys are from today's video, I will give you guys a little bit of a discount just for today only. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get the roster update. As always, make sure you guys drop a like and uh, comment your favorite pick for the upcoming roster update for you guys. What's your favorite pick? And um, I don't know what my favorite pick is. We'll probably talk about it in the video. There's a lot of good picks in my opinion, which uh, we'll go ahead and start it off rip with uh, Clay Holmes. Clay Holmes on the year is pitching a 1.26 ERA, one of the best closers. I'm pretty sure we all know that already. But um, the last roster update, he had a bad pitching performance. Like right before the roster update, he had like four earned runs in one game. That was his worst pitching performance on the year, which is why he had the 1.26 ERA. Normally, he had like a one, a 0 0.3 or something like that. Um, but since that bad pitching outing, he's pitched 3.2 innings, 0 earned runs, and 7 strikeouts since the last update. So with that being said, I think he has potential to go diamond. I'm buying him anything under 3K. Um, I don't think he's a guaranteed diamond because you know SDS does some weird stuff sometimes. But if you guys can get him under 3K and you guys sell him before he gets upgraded, you guys can definitely finesse him on the market and just sell him on the hype. Um, 2.4K, you guys can easily make profit on that, easily. Alright, up next we got Shane McClanahan. I talk about him pretty much every video, it seems like at this point. He's a semi-slept-on pitcher. I think he's one of the best pitchers in the league right now. Probably top three. Um, last three starts, 19.1 innings pitch, 24 strikeouts, and only three earned runs. He, he's pitched against great teams, Yankees, uh, Blue Jays. Like, he pitches against a bunch of good teams and still puts in good work. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm buying him anything under 10K. I don't know how much SDS is going to put him up. Quick sell value for any card 92 and above is 10K. So if you guys can't, he's right now he's 9K. That's a steal. I think once it comes to the roster a bit, like the day of, um, his price on the market will be like 12, 13, 14K. It's hard to tell what the market is going to be right now with the mini season packs and stuff like that. Like the market is just down really bad right now. So. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how the market's going to look. Normally, I feel like he would be 12, 13, 14, 15K, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, Dylan Cease. This is probably my favorite pick of the video. Um, people mention this dude every single video, every single stream, and for whatever reason, I just never really looked into him. Everyone always mentioned him. There's always someone in my comments, always someone in my streams mentioning Dylan Cease, and I just never looked at him. Uh, Dylan Cease and June... Pitched a 0 0.33 ERA, 27 innings, 47 strikeouts in 27 innings in June. And July, he's doing the same thing. 0 0.61 ERA, 29 innings with 33 strikeouts. A little bit less strikeouts per nine, but still pitching a below one ERA. Um, I don't know what this card is going to go to because you never really know how SDS is going to upgrade him. But I think easily he could go diamond. I definitely think he has potential to go diamond. Um... So yeah, buying him anything under 3K is a steal. 2.3K is a crazy steal, in my opinion. Easily can make profit on that, especially when it comes to just selling him on the market right before the roster update, just sell him on hype. So uh, yeah, I think Dylan Seeds has a good chance of going diamond. All right, up next, we got Clause. We all know him. There's not much to say. He should have been diamond a long time ago, but we got to mention him again. He's still pretty cheap, 2.6K. Um, June had no earned runs, literally zero earned runs in June. July... He gave up one earned run in six innings, five strikeouts in those six innings. He gave up one home run in six innings. Not too crazy bad. Um, yeah, I think he's going diamond. He deserves it. He pitched good in the All-Star game. I think he definitely deserves it. 
All right, Andres Jimenez, I think, has a very good chance to go diamond as well. Last 15 games, he's batting 320, two home runs. He's never really a good home run hitter. But the thing with Jimenez is he has good defense and good speed, which people like uh, Buxton, for example, get upgraded very highly. Like, you see Buxton go from, like, an 86 all the way up to 91 or whatever it was, that one that one roster update. Like, 87, 86, 88, somewhere right around there. It went all the way up to 91. That's because he has good defense and good speed. Now, Jimenez doesn't have as good of defense or as good of speed as Buxton, but it's still up there. And uh, that's definitely going to help him get upgraded to a diamond, so... Yeah, I'm buying him anything under 3K. Jimenez is a solid pickup for, uh, what is he at right now? Uh, 1.9K is a crazy good pickup. I think this is a sleeper that could definitely go diamond under the radar. All right, another pick that makes no sense to me. Uh, Verlander, week after week after week, is just underrated. I don't I don't know what it is. He's only going for 7K, which I believe is quick sell. Yeah, he's going for quick sell. At 89 overall. Is 7K quick sell. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because he's old or what it is. I, I have no idea why Verlander is not hyped ever. Uh, but he's pitching good, as always, as every time I mention him. Uh, last three starts, 19 innings, 27Ks, only two earned runs in those three games. Not much to say about Verlander. Year or Week after week, I talk about him. He should have been 90 like two or three weeks ago. I don't know. Um, if you guys watch my videos, you know we've been mentioning him for a minute now. Uh, yeah, anything under 8K, I think, is a steal. I think he's definitely going 90-91. Um, he deserves it, for sure. I think he, I don't know. You never know with SDS, but I, I think he deserves it. He's been pitching good pretty much all year. All right, Austin Riley is another card that's kind of like, um, what, what Dylan sees. A uh, card that I see people talk about all the time. I just never look at him for whatever reason. Because every time I did look at him, he never really was playing that good. But Riley's going crazy. Last 15 games, batting 410, seven home runs in those last 15. I think Austin Riley definitely has a chance to get upgraded to a diamond. He's only 2.6K, a little bit of expensive for 83 overall, obviously, uh, but he definitely deserves it. Last 15, he's batting 410, seven home runs. Last week, he has three home runs with batting 393. Still going crazy the week, two weeks, however you want to look at it. Last 30 games going crazy as well, 383 with 10 home runs in the last month. So, all in all, he, Austin Riley's going crazy. He definitely deserves it. Uh, I, I think he's definitely going diamond. 2.6K, not a bad buy. I'm, I, I'd buy him anything under 3K. I think it's a good, uh, a good buy. All right, Sandy is another card I think is a great buy right now. Um, everyone knows him. Everyone loves him. Everyone bought him at, to go to diamond. And I feel like after he went diamond, everyone just forgot about him. Everyone forgot about Sandy. They just kind of just sold him and got rid of him. Um, I think Sandy is still going to go up even more. I think you should buy him more. Um, anything under 3.7K, I'm buying him. July, so far, he's pitching a 1.24 ERA, 29 innings, 36 strikeouts. Not much to say about Sandy. I think he deserves to get upgraded more, and I feel like everyone in the community kind of forgot about him. He's only 3K right now. Cheap as fuck. Um, not much to say about Sandy. We all know how good he is. Um, not really anything we can say about him, but buy him. I think he'll definitely go up to 86, 87, maybe 88. I don't know. It could. It's a, it's a possibility if he pitches another good, um, if he has another good pitching outing. Uh, but yeah, I, I think, I think Sandy's just a card that you can buy him cheap right now for quick sell and definitely get some profit on him. All right. Goldie is another card that we all know. We all love, um, the mini season packs kind of did ruin his value because we could have definitely sold him for like 20, 30 K a couple weeks ago, but Hey, it is what it is. Um, last seven games though, he's coming back 357 with five home runs. Now Goldie, I don't really think is a now update or a, a now buy. I feel like Goldie is going to be good in the future or watch him and see how he does this week before the roster update. Watch how he plays like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know if he's getting upgraded because he did have a little bit of a bad, um, he did have a little bit of a bad week or two leading up to the last roster update. Not like horrible, but not like Goldie standards of that in like 350 or something crazy. So I would look at him if he keeps batting good. He has five home runs in the last seven. If he keeps hitting good, hits home runs, buy him up, buy him anything under 12K, I think is a steal. Um, but just be careful. I definitely think Goldie can go up even more, but, uh, we have to wait and see how he plays. All right, one of the hottest hitters in the game right now, Freddie Freeman. Surprisingly, I didn't even really know about this dude until my boy Callie told me about him. 
Um, I haven't really been looking at stats like that recently, and I look at Freddie, I'm like, damn. Last 15 games, he's been 450, five home runs. Um, Freeman, Fre Freddie's going crazy. Freddie's going crazy. I didn't even know he was this hot. Pause. Um, yeah, anything under 4K, I think is a steal. Uh, let's see. So, right now he's 3.4K, 86 overall, quick sells for 3.7. Uh, we're hoping he goes to 87 overall, 87, 88, 87 quick sell for 4.5, 88 quick sell for 5.5. And uh, I do believe Freddie Freeman was at 88 at one point this year, so I definitely can see him going back up to that. 450 in the last 15 games, like he's got to get upgraded, I don't know. I think he's going 86, he's going to go from 86 to 88, somewhere right around that range. Probably 86, 87, if we're being honest. And, um, yeah, 88, 88 wouldn't really surprise me. But, um, yeah, 3.4K, I would buy him. It's just a little sketchy of a buy since he's so much. So just be careful. We don't have a lot of stubs. But uh, one of the best picks for the for today's video, for sure. All right, boys, that is the it to the video. Let me know in the comments who you guys are picking up, who you guys are buying. Let me know your favorite picks. As always, don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me up on my social medias. Like I said, if you guys anything grinded, hit me up on my socials. We will be giving you guys a discount on today only if you guys do mention you're from today's video. The grinding, a lot of the, a lot of the grinding, it's, it's a good deal. It takes like a day for us to finish. And uh, yeah, if you're busy or whatever the case is or you just don't want to grind something, hit us up. We got mini season packs. We got BR, Flawless. We got uh, Ranked Season. We got everything you need. Come to us. Let me let me know what you guys need. And uh, yeah, as always, let me know how the roster update goes for you guys. We will be live right before the roster update, as always. And I probably will drop another roster update video in a day or two as well. Probably like two or three days. But until then, I will see you guys in the streams on Twitch or other videos. As always, put you guys chilling. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.